Hello, it's me, Alicia, joining you today. So fabulous to see you, and thank you so much for dropping in with me. So I just want to invite you to take a couple really deep breaths with me, and let's just be here now together, okay? So draw in a deep breath all the way, feel your belly, and hold it for just a second. Just allow yourself to expand, and then ah, exhale. Let a soft ah escape your lips as you exhale. <laughs> and another deep breath. And as you breathe, you can tap the center of your forehead and just say, be here now. Breathe in, hold it, and just hold the tap, and then ah, let go. <laughs> Good, okay, so let's do it again. Draw in another really deep breath and just tap, tap, tap and say, be here now. And exhale, let go, relax, release. So I want to drop in with you today for a little bit of a astrology report and some tips and tricks to help you. So the sun has energy that gives this planet life. And each week the sun moves through and passes through a different part of the cosmos in the sky. So this is where we get our traditional sun signs from. Wherever the sun was in the cosmos when you were born is your astrology sign. So throughout our days, the sun is going to shift and to change. And so um, right now the sun is in cancer the sign of cancer the crab and it's kind of towards the end portion of it so this is known as cancer three decan and this is the moodiest of all the crabs so cancer is always traditionally known for the very sensitive being in a very sensitive emotional time so you may be feeling some of those emotional energies yourself and colorful emotions are so great for creativity because you never know what the feeling is gonna be. It could be sunny or it could be shadowy. And, um, and that's really that symbol of the crab, like who will come out and scurry across the beach, right? And just have all this fun. And then bloop, the minute somebody shows that, you know, steps in their way, they hide in their shell and, and they become, so you can feel those kind of energies of expansion and retreat during this time. So since we're in the area of the cosmos that is all about colorful emotions, I want to invite you this week to bring out your inner artist and just let your feelings flood onto the canvas. The beauty of this is that you can touch people's lives in such profound ways when we connect with that deep source of emotion within ourselves and what's really coming forward. And the thing about emotion is, you know, we all love our good positive highs and, and positive emotions, but sometimes the negative emotions or the intense emotions can be overwhelming. So this is one reason why it's so important to find yourself an artistic outlet so that you can process these deep, dark passions and euphoric heights. And so I want to invite you to comment below. Have you found your artistic outlet? Do you like to paint or draw or perhaps sing or write poetry? Or maybe it's create a colorful post on social media. I would love to hear your suggestions. Let's tell each other, what do you do as an artistic outlet? For me, I've got my journal that I love to write in and I'll just let that free flow writing come out. And it's amazing to go back through and see what comes out. And it's just, the reason why we do that is because it's gonna help you process and digest that, that out. And then you have something beautiful that you've created in your life and in the world that can live on through your artistic passions. So, 
As I mentioned that some of our emotions can be overwhelming, especially as an artist. If you're an artist, you know you have these highs and these lows. And that is actually part of this beautiful process of creating it where we're multidimensional beings. But sometimes our negative, overwhelming emotions or frustrating thought patterns can really inhibit us from expressing ourselves and it really can make us hide in the shell, right? And just hide out from the world and maybe avoid situations that could be for our better good. So I wanna teach you a technique that's called pattern interrupt. And it's very simple. This is called a neurological technique. So it's literally just a process of training your brain to allow yourself to let in more good feelings and to have the power to stop panic, to stop frustration, to stop overwhelm or anxiety or whatever it is when it kicks in. So I just want you to close your eyes for a minute and envision that there's a big stop sign in your hand, okay? You're just holding a stop sign. And so now that you have this stop sign, I want you to think about a negative thought that you have right now. So whatever frustration or anxiety, think about your anxiety. And when you get into that negative state and you start stirring up those you know, toxic feelings and you're crying or you don't feel good, and then I want you to grab your stop sign and just say, stop. Okay, say it out loud. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, and utilizing this stop sign is a way to interrupt this pattern so that you can redirect your mind in towards channels that make you feel good and support you. And so as you're thinking about, okay, how can I stop some of these patterns that lead my emotions and my anxieties and my thoughts and all of these things and kind of go down this dark rabbit hole? So this is another moment that you're going to want to reach for essential oils. And the reason for this is because the aroma of essential oils and the pure plant are able to penetrate and cross through up into our brain. That sense of smell and olfactory bulb is right in the top of the brain up here. And so this is the seat of our thought and this is the seat of our consciousness. And if you don't have essential oils, that's okay. That's why I showed you the deep breathing exercise. So just do some deep breaths. And if you do have your wild orange essential oil, the easiest way to create a pattern interrupt and a shift in your mood is to just rub a drop on your hand like this, just a little bit, only a dab will do you. Rub your hands together and then just cup it around your nose and take a couple deep breaths of that. As you breathe it in, you can just feel all of the colorful emotions and just allow this blissful feeling of being alive to circulate through your body. You can even tilt your head back a little bit and just smile and just let your subconscious mind know that it's okay to relax. It's okay to be you, to process and express yourself creatively and to make peace with all facets of your being all aspects the sunny bright euphoric highs and the shadowy dark deep dark passions and so as you're moving forward in your week ahead i want to invite you to continue to really pay attention to what your conscious mind is doing Okay, where is your focus going? Do you struggle with anxiety a lot throughout the week? Or are you feeling amazing? And so all of this has to do with our subconscious mind that's importing information from our reality into our conscious mind. So if you feel that these emotions and your experience is going towards a negative feeling, it's just because you're focusing, it could be the way that you're doing your self-talk, right? 
So if you've heard of positive affirmations, what a positive affirmation is, is it's going to just help rewire your brain to shift into a new thought pattern and into a new feeling pattern. So if you haven't been feeling good, then the chances are that most likely you are focused on some kind of negative thought or emotion or some kind of darker colored or feeling of lack or like there's not enough. So just if that's your feeling, just breathe in this wild orange because this is the oil of abundance. So it's going to help you just see that there is an abundance of positive feelings about yourself, boosting your self-esteem. There is an abundance of everything that you need. And just breathe that in. And so if you have a piece of paper, just go ahead and grab that. And then what I want you to do is write a T on your piece of paper, like a T graph. And on one side, I want you to write positive focus. And on the other side, write negative focus. Okay. And then at the top, I want you to write, where is my focus going? And so as you move throughout your day, just take a note and just, it's kind of fun to just be aware of where your brain is at. And there's no judgments. If you're on a negative focus, it's still going to give you information about how you can express your art, your inner artist, and you can really trudge up all that intensity that you're feeling and, and understand it and just have awareness of it instead of have it be this subconscious pattern. Suddenly it becomes conscious and you can do something about it. And likewise, if you're focusing on positive things, just make a note of that and just make a note of all the things that you think about that make you feel good. And, and so this will just kind of help you know what sort of seeds are planted in your subconscious mind. And if you notice that there seems to be a little bit more negativity that's stirring around in there, then I'm gonna right now give you some affirmations for you to focus on. So grab a pen and paper and write some of these down. And what I would recommend is just put little post-up notes. Go, get, go invest in some uh, sticky notes and just write your favorite affirmations on them and stick them up all over your house. Put them on mirrors, put it anywhere that you're just gonna see as you walk by throughout the day. And then you can just repeat those statements to yourself. And then slowly over time, this is a daily process, just like the sun daily makes this transition that causes and stirs different life energies within us. We stir the life energy within our own selves by what we put into us. So I'm just going to speak some positive affirmations for you and you can either choose to write them down or take a couple deep breaths right now. I just want you to know that you are a gift to the world, that you're perfect, that there is only one you, and you are exactly right. You're pretty enough, you're handsome enough. I adore who you're becoming, you adore who you're becoming. You are worthy of massive success. You will always be enough. You are a treasure. You have a brilliant mind. You are smart enough. You are wealthy. You are abundant. You are perfect. You're talented. You are unstoppable. You have the power to create and manifest amazing love and relationships. You are worthy of massive wealth. <laughs> you are worthy of massive success. You are enough. You have always been enough and you always will be enough. <laughs> Just remember, there is only one you. So adore yourself, cherish yourself in all of the colorful emotions and expressions that you are. 
So if you have the rest of your day to go about, I just want to invite you to just do a couple breathing. Just tap your forehead again and just breathe this in. Love yourself right here, right now. And go have so much fun expressing your artistic, creative, and colorful emotions this week. And if you find yourself getting overwhelmed, just remember to grab that stop sign and say stop because you are enough and you are perfect just the way you are. So thank you for tuning in and I would love to talk conversation and hear about your artistic outlets as well as what emotions are coming to the surface for you. I hope you have a beautiful week. <laughs>